I'm Groovy Loopy Lou. In this tutorial we're going to look at the box we've already created and the seat nodes and stand nodes that we've already put in and look at how you bring it all together and export it for IMVU. Now we've already set up the skeleton in the last tutorial and we're not going to make any further changes to it we're just going to have a, a guy sitting on the box and the guy standing next to him. So what we need to do is have a look at the mesh now if we can't export the mesh the way it is because IMVU doesn't know where the mesh is in relation to the root now the root is the central point of everything um, what we need to do is we need to add a weighting modifier to, uh, to basically um, tell IMVU where the box needs to show up in relation to the root now to do this it's not as tricky as it sounds if we go into modifiers animation and skin okay now the first thing we need to do is click add and we add the root that tells it which node it all relates to then we need to click the edit envelopes that will go yellow check the vertices and uncheck the rest now then what you need to do is you need to mouse over your and drag a window over the mesh and it will pick up all the vertices I mean if it's a bigger mesh you know you you need to bring it back and do it but it picks up just fine <coughs> now we need to just have rigid select selected and the abs effect needs to be set at 1 and we just scroll back up and uncheck edit envelopes that's it it's done if it's furniture if it's rooms those are the settings for everything okay apart from animated mesh but that's a whole nother story so we're ready to export the first thing we need to export is a skeleton so if we select the root it gets exported from that so with the root selected we go file export and I'll just go into the desktop and into my tutorial folder now you should have the cal converters installed already and um, they get installed when you install previewer or you can download them from the IMView site if you don't have them installed you will need to do it before you do the stage so we'll go ahead and export the skeleton so I'll call it box scale and then you have to manually put the extension at the end which is dot x s f click save now we want to export every single node that's involved there oops I didn't change that back so if I cancel that and we were just going to have that standing so we'll just kill off that one and go back to the root and export so what are we going to call it box scale xsf okay so we just click finish that's it exported if we now look in my folder there it's there okay now we need to export the mesh now the mesh you need to select which there it is box one is selected file export and I'll call this box mesh dot XMF <coughs> if you don't put the extensions like the dot XMF at the end they'll export it as the wrong file type and your project won't work so we click save now it asks us which skeleton file we want to ex we want to use. Now it it will pick up the last one that you used. Um, if 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 the last one you used isn't the one you're using, you need to browse and find it. But it is so. Click next, next, next. There's nothing in there that you need to set. And then if we look again, there's my mesh and there's my skeleton now I'm not going to show you how to export the materials 
because at the moment where as I'm doing this tutorial there are changes coming in place within IMVU and you will not need to export the material files so I'm just not going to um, but in fact no I'll quickly show you if you have nothing selected and um, click file export and type in say M naught naught and then whatever your material would be, so we'll call it box side one dot this is important XRF. Click select no click the next one and highlight the material that you want to export. Click next and click finish. That's how to do it, but soon that bit won't be relevant at all, so don't worry about it. And that's you exported. That's it you've done. The m next thing to do is test it within Preview or IMVU Create Mode, depends which one's applicable. Um, but you're done. If things don't work right or things don't show up right, then you just need to go back, retrace your steps and try and figure out where you went wrong. But good luck with your meshes.